so it is hair day i'm going to get the few little places touched up and fixed and before my appointment i'm gonna go see my mama <gasps> i think she's supposed to be home i doubt i can get her on film because she's probably not gonna be dressed y'all know she's a diva she's got to be looking good before she gets on camera but i'll see but baby is going to babysit buster today while i go get this tweaked a little bit and then i think cody's coming over tonight for me to cut his hair um he needs a haircut not sure what time that'll be but while i'm driving up here to um get my hair done i'm gonna insert the footage of the dining room the kitchen and the hallway how i have it decorated for fall and i think i show y'all the guest bathroom too i can't remember um, but I hope y'all enjoy. So I'm going to insert that footage now and I'll be back with y'all later. So I'm going to share with y'all how I've done my dining room and kitchen for fall. So we'll start right here. So I had this bucket and I had these bittersweets that I've had for years from Dollar Tree. And I just stuck them in there. I stuck some pine cones and a little pumpkin. And I just love this little bit of color. And it kind of ties the two rooms together with the living room and the dining room. So I did that. All right, I swapped my lampshade. I did not like the one that I thrifted yesterday on this lamp. So I changed it out. This is the lampshade that actually came with it. And when the light is off, let me show you. That's what color it looks, which will go like for, it'll fit my house all year, but it looks nice for fall. So I did put that on it. Um, I thrifted these, they look like mums. I thrifted those last year and I just stuck them in my ironstone pitcher. I need to kind of tweak them a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay, so I just put them in there. Um, have some fall greenery in that green enamel pot. That board is the one I had on my bar originally, but when I bought the tray, I just stuck that there. I like that. I like that it kind of sets that vignette up. I don't know. It's not one of those things that's in your face, but I could actually use it for like a serving board or something if I wanted to. So that's what I've done there. This cute little chair that I bought from my friend at the antique store and a bucket of eggs. <laughs> um, this is a wreath that I thrifted and I just stuck it and mixed it in with the, this other wreath that I thrifted and I liked the way it looked so I just left it there and I like it with the copper teapot that was given to me by a sweet friend. So I just left that, I just stuck it on that wreath, kind of intertwined it a little bit and left that like that. Um, another bunch of those mums I thrifted that go with these and a little pumpkin. And that's pretty much all I've done over here. And I have scaled way back in my fall decor, but I love it. Um, Y'all seen that I hung up my picture. I love that picture. We had it when I was growing up and I remember sitting hours looking at it, thinking of all the different scenarios for each frame. <laughs> um, And I love this picture and I love having it right here because I, I usually sit here when I'm eating, and so I'm looking at that, and it just, I love it. It just means everything to me. And then I just happened to find that sconce and thrifted it, and it was perfect with it. So, love that. For my dining table, I basically did the same thing I did last year with the exception of I put these acorn picks in this picture. I had a different picture there last year, but I just recently got this picture from the antique store. And I just stuck all those picks in there. And then I'll fill this up with some fall candy. I thrifted this little pumpkin and changed out my rolling pin for the orange handled. And it's pretty much the same as last year, except I do have a different chicken than I did last year. Okay, behind it, right there, is where I had those picks that I took back to Hobby Lobby. I just did not like it. It just did not look good. So I picked these up and I just kind of scattered them in there and I love the way that looks. To me, that looks more natural and I really liked it. So 
I just took the other pieces back and got those. That's just three picks of those flowers and I just kind of spread them out and just stuck them in there. And I love it with the rolling pins and the ivy and all that. I just love the way that looks. Um, for this shelf, another piece of that tricolored eucalyptus. I didn't do anything on this shelf. Another piece of that eucalyptus and I did put this little brown transferware saucer there and then another bunch of those mums up there and that's all I've done over here and I did put my rooster pillow back over here. I think it's very handsome and dapper <laughs> and that's all I've done in my dining room. Um, I love it. It's simple for me. It might not be for everybody, but I love it. So turning around to my kitchen. Um, for my kitchen, I used to go over the top with the tops of my cabinets, but I just scattered a few pumpkins there, a bigger one there. I think I have one over here, right up there. And then I have one stuck over there in that corner, right up there, and one right there. That's all I've done as far as above my cabinets. Um, and then these are the rugs. Y'all don't look at my floors. I need to mop. These are the rugs that I thrifted, I'm thrifted whew, that I bought from Hobby Lobby for my kitchen. Love them. Um, over here, only thing I did was I just put this little towel here. I love the saying. I would love to find this like in a needle point or something, but I love the saying. So I just kind of put it over that cutting board, threw in some that eucalyptus and then these two little ears of corn. That's all I've done there. And normally this crock sits in this, but we actually have some fresh yard eggs that James's friend from work brought us. So once these eggs get used up, I'll put that little crock back in there. But for now, I've just put it there. Um, another sprig of eucalyptus. Let me turn on this light. Now above my stove, that is that cute little picture that I thrifted. I love it. It's got the little pumpkins and the basket. Love that. And then there's my little vintage turkey salt and pepper shakers. And that's all I've done right there. And then over here in this corner, all I've done is I have this bowl of fruit, apples, and pears. They're not real, but they look so real in person. I don't know if they're coming across like that um, on video, but in person they look so real. Love my butter dish, have it here. And I've kind of got this set up like a baking, quote unquote, corner. And the reason I have the bowls of fruit, and now I did take my bright colored red cookbook like that away. This one's more faded and I like that look for fall. So I took the one away, put it up. I'll bring it back out for summer and Christmas. But I have this cutting board that has this apple cake recipe on it with my bowl of eggs, my baking powder, my spatula, all my little baking goodies. So here's the bowl of apples for the apple cake, get it? <laughs> and then this is just something James made me that it hides my outlet. And he's made me one, I think just about for every season now. And so this is how my little corner looks over here, my little baking corner. Love it. This pretty much stays like it all year except minus the fruit bowl. But all these bowls were thrifted. That's thrifted, that's thrifted. I wanna say this whole entire corner is thrifted. This was a gift. And this was bought from Allie on Rusty Ridge Vintage. Um, but everything else was like thrifted. Um, this was my granny's right here. So that's how this corner looks. And I just set this little crock here because I think last year I used to have a little flower arrangement here and I didn't want it here. So I just kind of put this little crock here. It's fine. And then this is my little mug that I thrifted with the turkey. I just kind of set it here. I change out the mug depending on what mood I'm in. <laughs> but it, I do change it out for the seasons. And then this little brass leaf I thrifted. This is my coffee and Jesus spoon that was gifted to me but i just kind of set it here for like a little spoon rest and i like it i think it's cute so that is my kitchen all dressed up for fall and then i showed y'all this 
please forgive the dishes and the makeup sponges. I wash my makeup sponges. These are my powder sponges from the Nakia Joy, and I use Dawn dishwasher liquid to wash them. And I've just kind of like got them here so they'll dry. But this is how everything looks. Again, not over the top, just very simple, but I'm loving it. So, and look at this cute little towel that a friend of mine gave me. I'm only talking to my dog today. Hello. <laughs> I love it. So, that is it. This is how the, the kitchen looks. I'll dress up for fall. Of course, I have my apron. I use it all the time because I am such a mess maker. But, that's it. So, how I have decorated my hallway for fall is very simple, really, for me. <laughs> Swapped out my beautiful picture. Um, that was from a dear, sweet lady that um, grew up, I, my kids grew up next to, that we live next to um, in Loosedale. She passed away, and I got this picture, and I love it. Um, I left my chicken pictures up here because their colors kind of look like fall. Um, I just traded out some, some of the more of that eucalyptus in my little chicken planter there. Added a little pumpkin, that little leaf cutout James did me. I just kind of stuck it behind those candle holders just to kind of give it a little some depth, I guess. And then those candles were in a bag I thrifted a while back. I found them. I did have to use some of that tacky stuff to kind of hold them in those brass candle holders, but I love them. And then this is a little flower arrangement I made and stuck it in this little pot. Love it. And I didn't change anything with my wreath or anything like that. But I did add this cute little candle ring that I thrifted to that. Um, and now for this. Y'all look at this candle. I was burning it to get the drippy look. And boy did I ever. It's drippy alright. <laughs> but I'm not going to mess with it because I love it. I think it looks very natural and how you would find it. So, leaving that. This is one of my favorite little DIYs I've done on this little pumpkin. Um, and then this leaf fell off of my wreath up here. I thought that wreath went on my front door, but I actually found my front door wreath. And I remember I put it here last year or so. And I just kind of stuck that little pumpkin cut out in it. But I just added some eucalyptus picks. And that's pretty much in that picture. I took the platter out and put the picture there. It's a thrifted picture. And that's all I've done. Now, I love this light bulb. I get them from Lowe's. They look so real. And I love it. And it really looks pretty at night, you know, glowing in the hallway. I think my window is a little bit crooked. Okay, fix that. Thrifted pillow, thrifted throw. This is my rug from in front of the stove. I just stuck it here um, because it really didn't fit in front of my back door. So, I just put it there. Looks fine. Y'all have already seen this part. I love it, y'all. It is such a focal point when you're looking down the hallway. And then, these poor candles, they never stand up straight, even with the tacky stuff. But I just had this picture here that I thrifted, and it looks like fall to me, so I left it. Didn't do anything there. And I haven't really done anything in my cabinet. Um, I've just kind of left it as is, because I love it. Oh, I did add a pumpkin. Oh, look at me. I did add a pumpkin. That's it. <laughs> That's it, because I really love it. I mean, there was no point. I did put the little potty chair back in the bathroom. And while I was at Hobby Lobby yesterday, I did pick up this towel. It's one of the dish towels, but I really liked it. And so, I've just put it there. I love this little chair. Y'all know I'm probably going to keep it. Y'all such a bad influence on me. Y'all always talking me into doing stuff. <laughs> um, and then, the only other change I made in here is I put that picture there. I painted it. So, I just kind of stuck it up there in front of the other picture that was there. I don't know if I've already showed y'all that or not. But that's all I did there. And then I've added this cute little candle that I thrifted. I just added that there. I don't know if I'll ever light it in here or not. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing's really changed in here. Y'all, the mama won't let me show her because she's a diva. But, look, she found this picture. That's my daddy and Delana. He had a lot of hair and it was dark. And that was his little hoodie right there and still is. Oh, I remember that little jumper she had on with the little dinosaur. It reminded me of Baby Bop. And then, look, that's my Cody Todd. My little Cody. Look at them lips. Look at that baby. Oh, my look gosh. I, I know. 
I remember looking at him thinking he's so pretty. Dark eyes, dark complexion. He looked just like his daddy there. But he didn't last long. Now he looks like his mama, God love him. Yeah, he does. Hey y'all, so got the hair done. That's a mess right now. You can't really tell anything by it because it's not fixed. We literally just did the color. I washed, well she shampooed it out. I blow dried it and left. Um, but she did get rid of the pink and it was really pink in the front. Thank goodness I have thick hair and he had a lot. But anyway, so I decided to run by the thrift store. I wasn't gonna come by the thrift store on my way home, but something just kept nagging at me and I did it anyway. And oh my goodness, wait till you see what I got. I am in love. When I tell you I am in love, it's an understatement. And I hope it works out the way I want it to. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, I just got back home. Um, I was gonna share with you my thrift haul. And the majority of it is booth, but it's like, I'll share it. Let me just, let me just get started and just, oh, uh, wait till y'all see what I got. Okay. I picked up these beautiful rabbits. <gasps> Aren't they so pretty? Now, these will be going in my booth like in the spring, but I just thought they were so pretty. Um, I think these might be a hobbyist piece, but I think they're gonna be so pretty in the booth for the spring. I just love them. So I did pick them up and they will be going in the booth. Um, I picked up this basket. I was thinking about my little chair that I have in there. Um, maybe putting some something in this, I don't know. It may end up in the booth. And then I also thought about, I might could set it in, in my guest bathroom in that little chair with some toilet paper or something. I don't know, but I did pick this up and it was $2.99. I really liked the color of it. So I got that. Um, I picked this up. It came, let me show you. I'm sure this came from Hobby Lobby, but I really liked the finish on it. And it came like this. Like, like this. I don't think this goes together. What do y'all think? I don't think that goes together, but they, they sold it together. Anyway, I got it for the clock because I love the clock. It looks so vintage and old. It's not. Like I said, it probably came from Hobby Lobby, but I did like this and it'll go in the booth. And they had it sitting on this, but they had it wrapped with um, saran wrap. So, I'm not sure they go together. Maybe I'll get a globe or something to put in this. But I do like the clock, so I will be putting that in my booth. And then I did pick up this little brass, little basket. I had one similar to this that I put in the booth, I think in the summertime, and it sold like the next day. So I think this one will sell pretty well. Um, this will be cute sitting on a vanity with some cute little, um, hand towels, napkins, soaps, something like that. Be really cute. There's so many possibilities with this. So that will be going in the booth as well. Now, oh, and I did pick these up. They were just laying out there random and I love them. Look, they're probably not old. They might be old. Anyway, I got these. I like to have just, I don't know. I got a thing for old scissors and old sewing stuff. So, I will be keeping those for myself. Um, but this next item, oh my gosh, y'all. I love it so much. I love it as is, but it won't work in my decor as is. So, I'm going to use the frame, but I'm going to keep the print that's in it because I may one day use it somewhere. Um, wait till you see it. Oh my gosh. Look, I know I'm a sucker for a picture. Look at this beautiful picture I got. First of all, look at this frame. It is so old, vintage, 
beautiful. Um, and then this print, I know there's a glare, hold on. And it says right at the bottom, it says on guard and it's the cute little girl sleeping with the dog watching over. It's so beautiful. I love it. Um, the glass is broke, which is not a problem for me. But I want to take my picture that's in my living room over the shelf. I want to take that picture and put it in this frame and hang it back up there because I love this frame. It's so old and vintage. Um, this is the back. I paid $16.99 for this, but I was not leaving this because I love it so much. So, I'm going to, let me look at this back and see if this is something I can do. Hmm. I might can do this myself. Oh gosh, you can tell it's old because of the old nails and stuff that's in it. But I may have to wait till James can help me. Um, and he's going to have to tack up, like, it's trying to come apart. So he's going to have to tack that for me a little bit. But if I can get the glass out and then just put my picture in it, I think it'll be okay. And I can go ahead and hang it up. Oh, God. I love this, y'all. It is so beautiful. I mean, it is just gorgeous. Oh, I love everything about it. Cows, that little farmhouse in the background. I will bring this picture out for the summertime. I will keep this picture and use it for summertime because it is perfect. You know what? No, I shouldn't say I might could use it for fall, but it's really more like summertime. So, I'm definitely going to keep this, this picture. But, that is my thrift haul. So, I'm going to go start working on this. And, um, I don't know if I can work on this right now. I may have to have James to help me because, um, it's coming apart over here. Y'all see that? So, the nail is taint came out here so he's gonna have to help me with that so I'll just have to wait till he can help me with that and then I'll hang it up but when I hang it up I will show y'all what it looks like uh, I think it's gonna be gorgeous just absolutely gorgeous but it definitely needs some tacking and I don't know how we're gonna do it I guess we go into the same nail holes We'll figure it out, but it's beautiful. I love it. So, that is my thrift haul. I really don't have anything else going on today. Um, so, I'll probably just end the video here. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed seeing my dining room and my kitchen and my hallway and the little tweaks I made. I think I shared, shared with the guest bathroom. Um, and... I hope, I don't know, based on some of the comments I've got, I don't know if my mantle is coming across as fall looking on camera as it is in person because I've had a couple of people tell me it looks too much like Christmas and in person it doesn't. I mean, I have pumpkins, I have fall leaves, I have fall greenery, I have pine and that's just how our falls look around here in South Mississippi. We don't get all those beautiful colors like y'all do. So, um, maybe the lights are throwing it off. I don't know, but I think it needs the lights because then you lose all of it. So, I'm not, I'm not sure, but it's really pretty in person and it really looks like fall in person. So, hopefully that comes across, but I want to thank y'all so much for hanging out with me for another video. I love y'all and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.